this is Inspired Joe Min, and today we're going to be doing a Inspired Hercules cosplay that I personally have made. But let's go ahead and jump in on how I made this from basic fabric. Now these are all different Hercules cosplays that I've seen online, but I decided to make mine more gender bent from the original. And I used these materials from Walmart, and I actually took a poly cotton mix from it so these are very cheaply you know achievable to get so you don't have to go to Joann's all the time now what I did was to make the pattern pieces I took a one piece kind of like a bodycon jumpsuit and I also used a fitted dress or a like overlay dress to actually help with the rest down from my waist to the hip because I wanted to make sure that this fit me just right now you can do the same procedures on yours just like in every video, you don't need an exact pattern if you don't have one or can't obtain one. Use the clothes in your closet as a pattern itself. Now before moving on to the next step, make sure when you cut it out that the first center front is going to fit you. And then once it has a little bit of seam allowance, which I added an inch, if not two inches, I'm going to jump ahead and use the center front to help make the center back of the dress. And I'm just lining this up together so that they both look equal or have a equilibrium to itself so that I can move on to the next step. After pinning, I can just sew the top together and make the serp skirt. Now, I just say it's very important to line up your center front and center back together like perfectly just because when you add your hemming later to the top parts that trail around the neck and collarbone area, everything lines up perfectly. It did take me a minute to sew this completely like securely and I did that with the skirt as well. Do not worry, I will add a circle skirt video tutorial into the description so that you guys have a general gist because I messed up mine so don't do what I do just follow the video that I have inserted in the description and it'll guide you through that part now once you've made your skirt this is very important make sure you line up your top of the dress and the circle skirt together where you want it to hit at your waist because everyone's waist is different and then later on once you have the top and bottom sewn you can add in your zipper and then you're pretty much good but this is how it looks like once I pins my top to the bottom um, don't worry about the excess light brown fabric because we will be trimming that away once everything is sewn together because we just want the top and the bottom just to complete as a one piece look this is how it kind of looks like without the zipper and this is just kind of like what it looks like before I do the adjustments and alternations and this is where I messed up on my zipper thing or the skirt so I done messed up. <laughs> Sorry. This while I was putting the zipper in, there's a huge chunk of a triangle piece that is not there. I still have the belt over it, but I don't want this to be seen. So I'm gonna just cover it up with some brown fabric just now. It's fine. This is fine. It's fine. Please make sure when you do it, you just follow the instructions from the video I put in the video. Now this is the after once we've sewn everything on and I took away most of the trimming. Don't worry, the edges will be trimmed later on. I'm just keeping it on for purposes, temporary purposes. But I am going to add two darts in the back and two darts in the front. Once you have the darts completed, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the pleat for the skirt. Now I'm using a leftover material around 15 and a half to either 16 and a half inches. It depends on how tall you are, how wide you want these, see how the length would be on your body. So I'm going to go ahead and start making five for the front and then three for the back because it's going to complete my circumference of my body. So I'm just cutting out these pieces now. Once you've completed the pleats and you sew down the edges, I'm going to go ahead and start on the belt to complete the dress. The belt is actually pretty easy. I just took out a measurement of how long around the circumference of my waist I wanted to sit on. Then we're going to just pin down and sew the raw edge that's not on the fold. Once you have that sewn down, you're going to go ahead and start on the middle of the belt. Now I did it around a using a kitchen circle 
cup, which is around three and a half inches in circumference. And I added an inch seam allowance around the cup itself so that when I flip it inside out um, after sewing, I have like a big circle part that I'm gonna use to put E6000 glue onto my belt to make it on the center. You can sew it, doesn't matter. But let's go ahead and start on the design of the belt as well. Now let's go ahead and start on the design of the metal. Now for Zeus's lightning strike on Hercules' belt, I didn't have any polymer clay or either felt material, which you can use. I used a linen cloth, so I'm using two different colors, a dark yellow and a more of a pastel yellow to do the design. I'm making the circles the same size by using this cup, and then I'm going to cut it out. Then you can draw your design in pencil or in light chalk on top of the lighter fabric, just so you can kind of have a gist of it. And then glue it on layers before you glue it onto the belt, because you want to make sure everything looks good. I ironed it before I glued it. Do it however you feel is safe and then secure. Now, once that's done, you basically, I'm just going to add in the darts to make it fit more, and then you have the bases done, and then you can outline the metal with the basic fabric paint that I bought at Walmart as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so for the final piece is, is Hercules' cape. Now, for a lot of the references I was looking at, it's more of like a rhombus sort of shape, and it has a lot of wave texture to it, so I'm going to try to get it as close as I can. So how I did it was I took my measuring tape out, and I laid it on the fabric vertically with the fabric laying vertically as long, like by yards, and then I cut the fabric by 24 and a half inches. The reason why I do this is because I don't want it overwhelmingly too long for my body. Fold it over again so it's more presentable so when I lay my dress to outline the cape, it's with the dress and not against the dress, if that makes sense. So you're using it as a pattern reference once again. Now, once I have that, I'm just going to cut it out and sew the edges. But we can start on the Velcro strips. Now, these strips are going to help the cape hold on top of the cosplay dress that you just made but it's easier to access on and off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting two pieces of strips out and then I'm gonna fold in the edges and sew those down after I pin it. Once I sew these down, I'm going to overlay it on top of the inner parts of my cape to make sure it lines up perfectly before I sew it down. So just make sure you cut these out alongside the cape so that, and then you can sew everything down once you feel like it is complete. So you would just sew down the strips to the cape and then you can go ahead in the next step, which is adding your Velcro in. Adding Velcro is pretty easy. I got these from Dollar Tree because they're the sticky sides up Velcro. They come in black and white, so that gives you more options. But I really like these because if I do need to sew them out, I could just do the sides and it doesn't affect my sewing machine as much. Now, with that last step, you really are done with the cosplay. Hopefully this is much easier for you, whether you're male or female, it's good for a summer or spring cosplay, or if you're going to a very warm climate or you don't know a lot about cosplay, you want a beginner friendly one, this is great for you because Disney characters are very much appreciated at anime conventions. What did you guys think of the cosplay? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanted to really finish this DIY so much more quicker before. I've had this cosplay or the fabrics at least for up to six months. So during the COVID, I was trying to actually finish this because I found all three of these fabrics on sale at Walmart. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can make so many cosplays with it. But please do not forget, if you like videos like these, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's not only just because I want you to be a subscriber, but it lets YouTube know that whenever I have a new video coming out, you're subscribed to me. But it helps out even more if you hit the bell notification. It keeps you notified as soon as it posts, so you're not waiting a month or a week or a day just for a new video. Um, if today wasn't good, you can make it every day better. But don't forget to spread peace, love, <laughs> and happiness. And it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. I'll see you ladies and gents later. Bye!
didn't fall apart. I'm too tall for this. Why did this keep <laughs> so